おはようございます。ジェームズです。It's 5:13 in the morning and Power Director 7 is seriously pissing me off. I am seriously considering going back to Power Director 6, even though I haven't been using it for very long. The reason is that the picture in picture designer. Um, well, basically, in Power Director, the feature that allows you to put one image on top of the video and move it around, or allows you to put one video instead of another video, Power Director calls that picture in picture. And you control its movement and its frame and its effects and so on through something called the PIP designer, the picture in picture designer. And there's a little tab in that window that lets you control motion. And in PowerDirector 6, when you move the little slider at the bottom、um, to move the picture in picture thing around, the video in back would play along with it. In PowerDirector 7, it doesn't do that. You only get the. The image at the very beginning, well, when you move the, the slider around, right, to, to try to modify the path to follow, like, say, somebody's face or some other body part that you want to hide,、um, you only get that first image when you try to manipulate the path. In PowerDirector 6, you get the playback as you move the, the slider for the, the, P in, the picture in picture thing. So, it's easy to make the picture in picture element to follow something in back that you want to hide, if it's a face or another part of the human anatomy.、Uh, so, that was doable in PowerDirector 6, and it's not doable in PowerDirector 7. And PowerDirector 7 is seriously pissing me off. Because. I was counting on that feature for a number of different projects I had in mind.、And、the fact that I can't do it in PowerDirector 7 is, well, frustrating. So, I'm either going back to PowerDirector 7 or figuring out a way to get this to work in, I'm sorry, I'm either going back to PowerDirector 6 or figuring out a way to get this to work in 7 or giving up on PowerDirector entirely. Ugh. <sighs>